Hey guys! I got nominated for the ALS Water Bucket Challenge, but see, I don't want to do it. Okay, I was nominated for um, the ALS Water Bucket Challenge, like I said, and um, like, just like yesterday, I, I finally like saw it all over Facebook and Instagram, and I had no idea what it was for. All I saw was just that like someone quickly says, I was nominated for the ALS ALS water bucket challenge by so-and-so I nominate like four or five people you have 24 hours and then they pour water on their head make some weird sound and then the video is over and um, I thought it was like a pretty silly thing I thought it was a simple trend like vine or something like when they pour like milk on your head you know that's all I thought and that in itself is already the issue this bugs me so much because I had no idea what this thing was even about, you know, it's just a silly little trend that I'm seeing out of nowhere in one single day, and then coincidentally the day after I discover it, which usually happens with everything, I'm suddenly like thrown under the bus about it somehow. I just discovered what it is yesterday, and then like probably a few hours later I'm like, oh that's what it's for, and then suddenly I'm nominated and I feel as if I'm obligated to pour water on my head or else I'm a bad person. But really, I shouldn't feel like a bad person for, for not pouring water on my head because the alternative is actually donating a hundred dollars. You can tell that I am all sorts of rage right now because I am talking very fast. The least a person can do is just make a hashtag for it so you can click on it and see a post about it whoever originally created it and, and like briefly explaining hey what is this whole thing about it's not a simple trend that you're just doing in general this is what it's for hey donate money you can't just keep some trend going and then no one even knows the actual significance for the trend I didn't even know what it was for and part of me feels as if a lot of people don't even know what it's for they're just saying ooh yeah I'm nominated let me pour ice water on my head and nominate other people and then just say they have 24 hours that in itself is annoying inconvenience also. First of all, I get very sick very easily in the springtime and in the summertime. Do you really think I want to pour cold water on my head and like, like, basically I don't want to get a disease because I'm trying to raise awareness for a disease. I don't want to get hypothermia or pneumonia because I'm trying to let people know about something like that I don't even have that much insight about because it's just a little trend that I was just tagged in without any sort of control. I mean, I get it, you know, people try to like um, raise awareness to like young people and all that by making it a fun trend, but seriously, if you're not actually explaining what it is and just making it some silly thing, people are just going to treat it as a silly thing. No one's going to actually donate because pretty much you're, you're basically saying, hey, are you a cheapskate? then raise awareness for something, but don't actually bother to donate money, especially because no one's leaving a link or anything telling you about it. As fun as it is, pouring water in your head is not going to help cure Lou Gehrig's disease. Not at all. It's just going to make you cold and sick. Right before school starts, no less. And only 24 hours, really? That is just one day. I mean, you should like give someone a week notice, you know, so they have all week long to contemplate, hey, do I want to donate money? Do I want to do the ice bucket challenge? Do I want to do both? Or, you know, give them warning, because if at some point if there's like a chain reaction of people just constantly doing this, someone might get a day when it's like, it's raining the very next day. I don't want to pour water on my head while it's raining outside or while it's like slightly windy outside. Once again, it's called pneumonia and hypothermia. No thank you. Considering that it's been either freezing cold or stuffy hot in my house for the past few weeks, and I have little sisters that are only four, a little brother that's um, like almost seven, a 70 year old grandmother, and just myself, I don't want to get sick before school starts. I just don't want to do this challenge. This really is not that helpful as people think it is. It's just a silly little trend. That's all I can say about it, you know? You're not raising awareness. Usually I'm pretty aware of stuff, but I mean like, there are so many diseases just in this in this country by itself. I mean like, it's really hard to keep track of everything. I'm not gonna know what every single thing is, especially if there are different names for it. Like I only know it as Lou Gehrig's disease. I don't refer to it as ALS or anything like that. So I'm just not even knowing what it is because there's just so many things and it's even more confusing when there are multiple names for one simple disease. I swear, this trend is just getting out of control, okay, because it's completely losing its meaning and significance by people pouring water on their heads. You're not actually doing anything, 
and the least you could do was briefly say what it is and and like link a bunch of donation websites or something like when you have it or like when you like make your little video or something don't just make it a silly little trend because it's not going to do anything that's just like a facebook post when you see a kid dying in like africa or something and it's like oh like to support them you're not actually feeding them they're not doing anything silly things like that it's just really for our own amusement and it shouldn't be it should be for the people that are actually suffering from lou gehrig's disease not from people that are just like hey let me just pour water on my head, make a joke out of it, and then just walk away and leave it on someone else to probably pay for it. No, that's stupid. You know, so many people are completely aware of this whole thing, but no one's actually donating money at all. It's not enough to just pour water on your head. You have to, you have to actually be willing to, like, try to help out for it or do something about it. You can't just sit there and just make a joke out of everything all the time. You gotta cut it out, you know? Just, you're not helping anyone. You're not doing anything if you're just pouring water on your head. You're just making yourself sick, okay? That is honestly the silliest thing ever. It's fun, and I'm not, I don't wanna make anyone feel bad if they did it, you know, cause either way, it, it is kind of like a win-win situation. You're helping out, but like, you know, you're helping out for the cause, or somewhat making awareness for it, but really you're just making awareness of the trend. You're not actually making awareness of the disease itself, you know? Because no one, or like, honestly, out of all the people that I saw making these posts, only two people, one person that graduated and one person that's going to be a senior, they actually left like a couple links telling you more about ALS and donation websites and everything. And another person, when she she was like, um, do it and donate, do both of it. Like, don't just don't just um, pour water and you had to get out of donating, and don't just donate because you don't want to put water on your head. Like, you, well, obviously, donate is always good anyway. But like, you know, all I'm saying here is that like you're not a bad person because you don't want to pour water on your head in less than 24 hours, like only such short notice, pour water on your head. You could be busy, you could be doing something. It's summer. You can be on vacation, you might not have access to a giant bucket of water. I feel bad, but at the same time I don't because I think that however minutes this video is going to be is a lot more like kind of briefly explaining why I don't want to do it, you know, and then I, I will um, leave a couple links to some donation websites while this is uploading, I, I will edit it or, or briefly after I upload it. You will see a bunch of links in the description and then I'll briefly kind of explain what it is, you know. Because, yeah, see, I have no idea what it is, you know, or I briefly know what it is, but, like, I know Lou Gehrig's disease is kind of like, you, like, um, a problem with, like, muscles, and, like, you have, like, you know, like, shaky and all that, I think, but the fact that I'm fully aware of this trend, but I have no idea, like, like, really the actual definition of, of the disease itself, and I know a little bit of it, of it because it's been around for a long time, like, it, it didn't just spring out of nowhere, it's been around for quite a while, you know? So, like, when they say L ALS especially, I'm thinking it's, like, a brand new, like, thing that people just discovered or just found a name for. I'm like, no, this Lou Gehrig's disease has been around for years. It's named after Lou Gehrig's who got the disease, like, a very long time ago, you know? Like, seriously. So, uh, yeah. You know, this isn't, like, some new thing happening. It's been around for quite a while. It's actually terrible because all diseases are terrible, like, all of them. And... Just pouring water on your head is not going to suffice by any means. You should actually try to do something about it. And if you already poured water on your head, once again, good for you. You're raising awareness somehow, but you should also briefly mention what it is instead of just making a whole little joke about it and just turning it into a silly little gag just to be involved in a trend somehow. But that's not helping. There's some things in the world you have to take more seriously and you can't just turn it into a silly trend to laugh about or just to joke about or be like, haha, that was fun, like, or I don't want to do it, oh my god, oh my god. I'm like, no, just enough. You shouldn't just, like, try to act as if you're really supporting the cause just by, like, uh, I don't know, just by really giving yourself a cold in, like, the cloudy, rainy 
part of August because it's really not helping at all so uh I don't know that's just all I have to say I'm sorry if I'm kind of sounding angry about this whole thing it's just I seriously don't want to sound like a downer or a party pooper and I don't want anyone like I really don't want people to think that I'm completely unsupportive of this by any means you know like especially I have a lot of family members that had cancer I don't think Lugaric's disease, but I definitely had a lot of family members that did have cancer, and they died at a very young age, you know? And, yeah, I don't like cancer. I don't like sicknesses at all. I think they're all terrible, and it's tragic, and it's sad, especially if, you're, if you die at a young age, because honestly, dying any age, like before 90, I will consider that very, very young, because it is. Very young to die. And... Diseases are awful, and you want to raise awareness for it, but then you also want to pay for it instead of just saying, hey, this is what this is. You want to do something about it? Like, no, you're not helping. I'm sorry. You're not. So please stop. Like, a, just basically a lot of stuff where people make a trend about it, like a post about it. You're not, you're not ending racism by, by liking a status saying, hey, are you racist? Like for no, ignore for yes. Do you believe in God? Like for God, keep scrolling and go to hell and your mom dies in a fire. You know? Hey. Like, just all these stupid things. It's ridiculous. Please, stop. Do something. Just do something about it. And I don't want to yell at a camera at 12.39 a.m., and Friends is literally on in the background. I feel really ironic right now, but I'm sorry. It just that's all I have to say about this. And I'm just so ranty right now that I don't want to end this video. But I will, because this will probably take forever to edit. So, um, I'm just going to leave it there. But just, yeah. If you want to continue to take part in the trend, I'm not going to stop. You do what you want to do. But I don't really want to do it. Because this is kind of just defeating the actual significance of of what it's supposed to be raising awareness for. It's not a trend. Stop treating it like a trend, okay? That's all I have to say. Bye!